Hey everyone, my name is Mirai and welcome to the TLDW version of Video Effects Basics. This is the heavily condensed version of the original video linked in the description and it's covering the absolute bare minimum. Okay, so we're setting this up in game and then in Iceboxer. Here are the important details about video effects. Please pause the video if you need to read them because there's no time to waste. First, open up the in-game GUI in the window that contains the portion of it that you want to see elsewhere. The default key combination is Control shift alt g and is located in your character set. Next, go to the Video Effects tab and choose to create a source, but it will need a name before you can do so. Then hit the Add button and boom, there's a green box. That's the source, it says so in the title bar. It can be dragged around and resized with the mouse or by entering values into the Properties panel. Put the source box over the part of the screen that you want to see in another window. For this example, I'm just going to be showing this character's player frame on my other window. Not the most exciting example, but it does show how this works. I already know the values I'm going to be using to make a nice, neat rectangle around the player frame, so I'm entering those manually. But once you've got your source in position, close out of the icebox or control panel with the same key combination used to open it and move over to a different window. Over here, once again, open up the control panel and go to the Video Effects tab. Choose to create a viewer and give it the exact same name as the source you want to view. Alternatively, I'd recommend just picking a source from the drop down menu above the name field. If you don't see your source located here, then that probably means you didn't create it correctly or are violating one or more of the restrictions mentioned at the beginning of this video. Next, hit the Add button, and boom, another green box shows up. But the title bar says Viewer this time. Put the viewer wherever you want it and close out of the in-game GUI after you've positioned it. And that's how you set up video effects using the Icebox or Control Panel. Now, when using the in-game GUI, you should probably save your work if you don't want to lose it. And here's another page with some details about saving and importing video effects when setting everything up through the Control Panel. Now to create the exact same setup inside of Iceboxer, first create a mapped key, give it a name, and give it a hotkey so that you can actually use it. Under step one, right click on actions, select video effects action. Just like the prior example, I am creating my source first, so I am setting the appropriate target for where I want my source to be. Your targets are going to be different depending on what you're doing, but don't screw them up because they're important to get right. So click on create, choose to make it a source, Give it a name, give it a position, give it a size, and that's it. We're done with the source. If you don't know these values ahead of time, it helps to create a mock-up layout using the in-game GUI so that you can get a sense of what numbers you should be using. Next, we'll copy that action, paste it back in, and adjust some of the settings for the viewer. Change the target to be the window or windows that you want to view the source on. Again, targets are important here. Then change the type from source to viewer. Don't touch the name since it should stay the same. I won't be changing the size either. Change the position if need be. And we're done with the viewer. Export your settings from Boxer. Wait for things to load. Press the assigned hotkey. And look at that glorious video effect setup. So that's really all there is to the beginning of a working video effect setup. There are several other options, as I'm sure you noticed while I quickly move through this, but feel free to just start enabling random settings to see what they do, or, you know, check out the full video or additional documentation on the Icebox Wiki. With that said, thanks for watching. My name is Mirai, and keep on keeping on.